2022 Porsche 911 GT3 Touring First Look, Wingless Wonder It's Touring Time. For the 2022 model year, the popular wingless touring trim returns for the 992 GT3, bringing with it a knapsack of subtle aesthetic changes over the standard B-Wing GT3. More importantly, this also stokes the digital flames of Porsche-centric Facebook groups and forums wherein touring fans argue as to why their spoiler-free variants are vastly superior to their gauche, peacocking normie GT3 siblings. Don't worry, kids, we love you both equally, with and without a little junk on the trunk. We also love the new 992 GT3 Touring. Some of us here at Motor Trend think the standard 992 GT3's hanging swan neck rear spoiler is a bit ungainly, so an unadorned rear deck lid is just what their doctor ordered. At least in our fantasies, as we are a few hundred thousand rated couch cushions away from swinging the 992 GT3 Touring's $162,450 price tag. Did you catch that? Yep, ticking the Touring box is a no-cost option. So deciding between the two variants is a struggle between your heart and soul, not your heart and wallet. It's not a matter of performance either. The 992 GT3 Touring is mechanically unchanged from its winged brethren, aside from the reduction in rear downforce, of course. Porsche claims sawzalling the wing did nothing to affect the chassis or powertrain, so the rip-roaring 4.0-liter naturally aspirated flat 6 remains, as does its 9,000 rpm redline and 502 horsepower and 346 pounds-foot of torque. While the prior and first-ever 991.2 GT3 Touring arrived exclusively with a 6-speed manual transmission, the 992 generation Touring is available with Porsche's PDK 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, with a 6-speed manual transmission available as a no-cost option. Regardless of transmission, all owners take advantage of the 992 GT3 Touring's toned-down aesthetics. With no wing looming over the rear grille, the GT3 Touring's rear deck lid was redesigned with fewer fixed aero effects. It also features a small GT3 Touring badge, as was present on the prior generation car. Other Touring exclusives include strips of bright anodized aluminum trim that frame the side windows and a color-matched front fascia. Inside, there's a focus on leather upholstery over the regular GT3's Alcantara surfaces. This is fitted standard, as is an extended black leather package and a Touring exclusive perforated design on the upper portion of the dash pad. Porsche noticed a fair bit of prior touring buyers opted for special order interior and exterior colors, so the brand adds additional contrasting upholstery colors to the lower half of the GT3 Touring's interior. If this has you already drafting up the auction